Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. Welcome back to my card making. Today I want to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set, set Tasteful Touches. And I'm going to be using all these. The flower, the patterns, the leaf, the feather, another pattern and the sentiment, you are the best. Yeah, I did get them all out. Right. I'm also using a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I've got a piece of smoky slate at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of white cardstock at five and three eighths by three and five eighths. A size I don't use very often, but I wanted a bigger border all around the white card. I've also got a piece of the vellum, coloured vellum. This is purple posy and a piece of purple posy cardstock which we're going to go across there, knee cutting down and a piece of purple posy for stamping on so let's get started we'll do our stamping first we'll do the flower in gorgeous grape we're using and we're going to stamp that just down there like that I'm also going to stamp our sentiment I'm going to pop that there like that like that. that's all we need the gorgeous grape for Right, I'll put that to one side to dry and bring in our white. And with Smoky Slate, we're going to stamp our flower, not flower, leaf. And we're just going to pop that. Oh yeah, you can see just and our feathers next. And we're just going to stamp that next to it like that. Maybe it should have been a bit higher up, but it doesn't matter. And then we've got our pattern piece, which we're going to stamp down here. And our other pattern piece we're going to stamp a couple of times just down the bottom Is that it? yeah that is our stamping done believe it or not right that there. With our scissors we're going to cut our flower out. I don't know why they never made a die to go with this. Bet you're not seeing this are you? Oh, I hope you're all keeping well and 
as well as can be expected here in the UK. We're on a lockdown again. Can't remember if we were on lockdown last time I recorded. And I'm back shielding to the end of March. So there's our flower cut out. That will go in the middle there. That's rubbish. Right now with our sentiment here, I use my big scissors to cut this. We're going to cut this out and then we're going to separate each word. These will go on dimensionals and will be placed like this over the card. I think it'll look nice. Right, this. We want this to be about that, which is three and three quarters and I'm just going to angle the edges that was the word I was looking for and that's going to get glued there need a little bit more off because I don't want it hanging off the white that's better so that was two and three quarters, wasn't it? So this one I'm going to have it at two and a half. And again, I'm going to angle the edges off. And that will go just down below, halfway, like that. So rid of all these bits. Don't need them. Right, let's put some dimensionals on the back of all this. So I'll just put three on the back of the flower. Oh, they need mini ones. And I think I just put two on each one. Quicker using the pokey tool. What's the today's date? Today is Sunday the 10th. So you'll be seeing this card tomorrow. Right, that's all that. Now we want some glue. And we're going to glue. I'm just doing a little line in the middle of the vellum and glue this one down as well. And then we'll glue this onto our grey base. And 
and leaving a bigger border. All the way round. Now this card can be used for anything. You just need to write what you want in the middle. <coughs> Which reminds me, I need to put a piece of card in the middle for this. Someone asked me once in the comments if I have pre-cut card. I do. Um, every time I get a new pack of white card, I do cut down a quarter of it into my 5 and 5 eighths and 3 and 7 eighths sizes and have a big stack of them at the side of me. And the same with my colour card. I always cut one base and two mats out of each sheet of card. Right, we're just going to pop the flower on there. Right in the middle. And then the words. Right, let's put you down first. You are this idea to come out of. Pinterest uh, by an Australian lady. Oh, I can't remember her name. Let's see if I can find her name. Uh, Pinterest. Healthy, slim, and stylish. Dot com. Uh, that's it there. Uh, that's it there. Off of Pinterest. So all credit goes to her, and I just cased it. So there you are. Oh no, let's put some gems on. We're going to put one up there, one just there, and one just there. There we are. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.